Now, we want to make sure that we have the right amount of water in the blood. This is an example of homeostasis. Homeostasis means maintaining a constant internal environment, keeping everything balanced, keeping everything the same. It's something that your body needs to do. It needs to maintain all sorts of things like sh um, blood sugar levels and salt levels and temperature. And this is one example of homeostasis called osmoregulation, keeping the water content of your blood level. We don't want to get too hydrated and have too much water in our blood and increase our blood pressure. And similarly, we don't want to get too dehydrated and have enough water in our blood because that will affect uh, the osmotic potential of our cells. So it's very important to keep our water levels constant. Now your kidney plays a really important role in this. You don't want to urinate out too much water if you are uh, dehydrated and you need to keep that water in your blood. But similarly, if you've drunk lots of water that day and you've got an excess amount of water, you want to make sure that you are urinating out lots of water. Now the way that you control that process is by a hormone. The hormone is called ADH, antidiuretic hormone. It is um, secreted by the pituitary gland uh, in the brain. You've got special cells in the hypothalamus part of the brain that can detect the amount of water in the blood. And then depending on that, how much water there is, you will then release a certain amount of antidiuretic hormone. The antidiuretic hormone or ADH travels in your blood to your kidney, where it will then act on the collecting duct to either tell the collecting duct to um, reab uh, reabsorb more water into the blood at that point, or to keep the uh, water in the uh, nephron to be excreted. So how does it work? Well, let's take this example here. Let's say we, that, that you are dehydrated. Let's say you haven't drunk enough water that day, you've been doing some exercise, you sweated out lots of water, you're dehydrated. Your, your hypothalamus detects that and will actually secrete more ADH. ADH travels to your kidneys in the blood and it tells the kidneys to reabsorb more water back into the blood. You do not want to let any water out in your urine uh, because you are going to get more dehydrated. So therefore your urine is very, very concentrated and you keep more water in your blood. The opposite is obviously the case if you are very hydrated. Your brain secretes less ADH, therefore less water goes back into the blood and more stays in the urine and you get very dilute urine. This is an example of what we call negative feedback and it's how the body keeps everything in check and everything balanced in homeostasis.